Hey guys, it's Tyler from North End Web Design. I'm here today to show you how to code a square in HTML and style it in CSS. So open up your code editor. I'm using Adobe Brackets uh, and get it set up exactly as you see here. You might need to pause my screen to get yours set up just like this. Once you have that, what you're going to go ahead and do is open up a live preview. If you're working in Adobe Brackets, you do that by clicking on this lightning bolt button right here. It pulls up Google Chrome. Uh, so let me pull this over to the side. Google Chrome uh, with Live Preview is going to render any HTML that I write over here in the code editor. For example, if I write this is a title, uh, you can see it pops it out right here on the right in Google Chrome. So, second thing we're going to do is to make a CSS document because we're going to make the, the square, uh, we'll make a div in HTML and then we're going to style it and shape it like a square and give it some color in CSS. So let's go ahead and get that document set up by going to File, New, it opens up something blank. Let's go to Save As, we'll call it squarestyle.css. Doesn't matter what you call the first part, just make sure the ending is .css. Go ahead and hit Save, and you're just about good to go. Except now, you have to link your HTML document over to your CSS document so that uh, the computer in the browser knows exactly where the HTML is getting its styling from. Somewhere between the two head tags that you have right here, go ahead and write this. Bracket link rel equals, this is in quotes, style sheet space type equals in quotes text slash CSS and then href equals in quotes square style.css. This right here needs to be the name of your CSS document. If you named it something else, make sure you write the name of whatever else you named it instead of square.css. Be sure to go ahead and put an ending bracket on it right there. Now we're good to go. Uh, the HTML document is linked to our CSS document, so any styling we do here in CSS will affect our HTML over here. We're going to only need one element to make a square, and that is a div. So we'll create a div like this. Make sure you have the beginning bracket and the end bracket. One thing I love about Adobe Brackets, the program I'm using, is that whenever you write an opening tag like this, it automatically creates a closing tag like that. We're not going to write anything in this yet, okay? Uh, so now we have our div, and there's a couple ways to style it. We could go over here uh, and style it like this. We write div, and then do a curly bracket like that. Let's give it some space. And if we're going to make a square, uh, let's give it a width of 50 px, that's pixels. Notice how I wrote this, uh, width colon space 50 px, px stands for pixels, so it's going to be 50 pixels wide, and always uh, in between these styles, make sure you have a semicolon. Going to go to the next line, and we're going to give it a height colon of 50px as well, because that's to be a square. We see a square over here. Now it has the blue outline around it, um, but that's just because I'm selecting it here on Adobe Brackets. So if I click away from it, uh, the blue outline is totally gone. And that's bad, because now we can't see our square. So let's give our square a background dash color of, uh, we'll say, black. Make sure to capitalize it, and put your semicolon, and then go ahead and save it. Now we can see our square in the document over here. Um, in fact, since it's styled to any div, will look like this. If we go ahead and add more divs, they'll all look exactly the same as that. Uh, there's no space in between them, so let's go ahead and add some space. Uh, we'll go ahead and write margin colon 50px. And that makes a 50 pixel barrier around each square. Now let's say that I want the second square to be red, but I want the first square to be black. We're going to use what's called selectors. We'll go ahead and give this back on our HTML document. We'll give the second one an ID of, uh, let's call this red and hit save. Make sure you write it just like this. At any time that uh, throughout this tutorial you get a little bit confused, just pause what you're doing and try writing out exactly what I've got here. So this ID selector uh, tells the computer 
the name of this specific square right here. And it lets us style it and select it over in our CSS thing by doing a pound sign or hashtag red. Give some curly brackets. I can give it a background color of red. Very nice. That's how uh, you make squares in HTML and CSS. Uh, spider actually just ran across my foot. It's a little bit creepy. Okay, if you want to play around with a little more, maybe make them bigger. Uh, you can play around with the width and the height settings. Maybe make uh, let's make rectangles like that. You can play around with these settings and make it however you'd like. Uh, I recommend doing so, so it gets you kind of more of a feel for CSS and HTML. Uh, check out one of the next videos for how to make your squares into circles.